Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today in this video, we are going to learn how to add an or to a date time in Salesforce. And we will learn this concept for both Salesforce Lightning as well as the classic component. So let's proceed and firstly learn how we can add hours to a date time in Salesforce. To add a specific number of hours in a date time value in Salesforce, you need to use the add hours function. And the syntax of this function is given on your screen. It has two parameters. The first one is a date or time and the next one is or. And here the date and time is the value to whom you want to add an or and the or is the number of hours that you want to add it to the date time value. And if you want to subtract some or you can use a negative numbers and if you want to add some hours you can use the positive number and you can do these things upon your needs so let's proceed and firstly learn to add hours to a date time using a salesforce like so here i open my salesforce account and by default it is open in a lightning edition if your account is not open in a lightning edition firstly move it to the lightning one then you have to redirect to the setup page or the main page of a Salesforce, you can see on my screen the main home page of a Salesforce. And if you are not on this page, you simply have to click on this gear icon and you have to click on this setup. You will redirect to this page that is visible on your screen. Now, from here, you have to click on the object manager. And from the object manager, you have to search for the object for whom you want to add a or to a daytime field. So in this case, I want to add it for the lead. So in this quick search box, so I search for the lead object and from here I click on this lead. So now in this case, we are not going to use any advanced formula concept for adding the or to a day time. In this case, we are going to use the concept of a triggers for adding a or to a day time. So here you can see that on the left side, we have an option of a triggers, the third last option. So I click on this option, it redirect me to the page and from here you can see that I get a option of a new button. So I click on this new button. Now from here you can see that it have two sides apex trigger. Now here we have to write a code to add a or to a date or time. So here I am going to create a PEX trigger that adds a three hours to a end date time field in a Salesforce lead object. So for this, you have to write some code. And here I write my code on my screen. So if you want to get this code, you can easily get it from our article from our article and the link of the article is available in the description box. So in this Salesforce Apex code i create a trigger that execute before an event occurs on a lead record so here you can see that i use a before insert okay it automatically adds a three or to the end date time so here you can see that i have a field with the name and date time okay on a salesforce lead object so here i create a trigger with the unique name lead trigger so here is the name of my trigger which is associated with the lead so here i add a lead and here i enter it as a before insert for getting a before inserting it so it simply adds a three odds to a field name as a add end date time field which represent that with respect to start date time and here i am using the add odds function so after writing a code you have to click on the save button you can use this code for adding date and time for the other object also and you have to change your object name as per your requirement so it gives me error that the trigger name is already used so i change my trigger name and then again click on this save button so on the finally click of a save, it saves the trigger that adds a three odds to the date time in Salesforce lightning component. 
So now we will move ahead and learn to add a or to a date time using a Salesforce Classic also. So for this firstly I have to shift to the Salesforce Classic component. So I click on my profile from here I get option of a switch to a Salesforce Classic. So I redirect to the Classic page. Now from here I have to click on the setup that is located on the top. And then from here you have to scroll down and move to the build section. So here is the build section on the left side. Then you have to click on this customize and under this customize we have a multiple objects. So now select the object for whom you want to add a one or two the date time feed. So from here I want to add it for the price books. So here I click on this price books object and then I click on the triggers. Now you have to click on a new to create a new trigger and here here you have to create a apex trigger that add a one or two the end of a date time period or whatever your requirement is so here i am going to write a apex code so here i write my code and now i explain you this code here i create a trigger that executes a before an event occur on a price book record and it automatically add a one hour to a end of a daytime field of the salesforce price book object so here you can see that here i create a trigger with the name price book trigger example okay and it is associated with the price book object then here i use a event trigger as a before insert and it simply adds a one hour to the end of a daytime field with respect to the start of a daytime field. So after doing all such things by writing my code, I simply click on a save button. So if you want to get this code, you can get the link of this article on the description box. You can easily get it. So now let's see how it works. So here I open my new price book object if by clicking on this plus icon. So I am going to write a book name. So here I write a book name. If you want to give description, so I don't need all such things. So I click on this thing. It set the date as a 19 June 2023 at 2.21 PM. And I simply click on the save. And uh, you can see that it automatically get a end of a day time and uh, it adds a one hour to the end of a day time so it start off is a 2 21 pm and it's end at a 3 21 pm so by using the apex trigger we add a or to a day time in salesforce classic so if this video was helpful, click on the like button and also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Thanking you for watching and have a great day.